July 11th, 1940. The German offensive on France was swift, and it didn't take long before France fell into German control. The capturing of France allows the Kriegsmarine to occupy their ports, which places us closer to the enemy fleets as they sail south towards Spain. This has proved deadly for the Allied forces, as they have seen their shipping numbers dwindle significantly, as U-boats are now quickly able to resupply and continue the fight. I have personally walked over a letter to command, requesting our immediate transfer to the western coast of France, as it will allow my crew and I to cripple supply lines between the Allies in the north and the south with haste. There are talks that England is the next target that Germany has in its sights. This will be no easy task, as the Royal Navy is still a formidable enemy. In preparation for this, we've been tasked with not only striking supply shipping, but also any Royal Navy warship that crosses our paths. This will reduce their numbers, which in return will allow our future invasion of England to hopefully go as smoothly as the French invasion did. Our task is simple then. Destroy everything in our sights. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to another episode of U-Boats. And really quick to start this episode off, I know many of you have been requesting and suggesting that I start with our upgrading of the U-Boat and begin our research. Well, I have done just that. As many of you have suggested that I start getting these snorkels, which are going to be very beneficial once they are actually researched. And here they are. Snorkels are being researched and they will be done in 23 days and 15 hours. And I have also focused on ammunition production as it is getting a little more difficult to resupply our ship fully with torpedoes as well as deck gun ammo as it seems as though the ammunition supplies are dwindling as a result of how fast we are actually expanding on this uh, German offensive. So as soon as this is done, the same thing, 23 days and 15 hours, hopefully we're not going to have too many problems as it pertains to getting ammunition. So as it stands right now though, our deck gun, we have no HE ammo for our deck gun whatsoever. It is strictly AP ammo, which is going to be interesting should we come across any shipping, because usually I like to start those fires and then as well, I get those AP rounds down at the below deck portions of the ships and get that water flowing in. But anyways, our mission is simple. We are heading to the south coast of Ireland, right into the Celtic Sea here, and we are to demolish anything and everything that comes in our sights, to include Royal Navy warships, which should be pretty exciting. But right now, we are currently on this task, the Happy Time. After Kriegsmarine has gained an access to French ports, capabilities of our U-boat forces have grown tremendously. Skippers among themselves call this period the Happy Time. <laughs> so. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to get 50 gross tonnages, or gross registered tonnage, sunk, which will be super simple. That's, I'm not worried about that at all. But I wonder if we're going to be able to knock out one, two, and three in one go, or if we have to do one, then two, then three. Either way, this ends April 30th in 1941, so I don't foresee us having any trouble trying to complete that. What I do want to know is, did we run out of time for the tonnage war on the... British side of things. We were so close to finishing this uh, 3 for 3, and I think it's actually run out of time, unfortunately. Which is a crying shame to see. I hope that's not the case, and it's only because we're dealing with this right now. But, without further ado, we are heading towards the Celtic Sea, coming through the English Channel, as that'll be the easiest route for us. So let me get over here, and if we come across anything in the English Channel, you will be the first to know, as always. But as soon as we get to the Celtic Sea, it is a no hold bar match. So. Without further ado, here we go. Alrighty, we have finally arrived at the objective. All throughout the English Channel, there was nothing of note. It was a lot of, like, PT boats. And we're not going to go and mess with those and waste torpedoes on them. But I didn't come across any significant destroyers, which was disappointing and surprising at the same time. But... Nonetheless, we are finally in the sector that we need to be, so let's go ahead and get our hydrophone on, and let's drop down to periscope depth, please. Lower sound by one. Oh my goodness, and we're already being presented with something amazing. Oh. Yes, here we go. Go ahead and surface the boat and get a course of roughly there. Three speed to four, please. And we are in pursuit, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, finally catching up to him. 
small group of convoy ships, the problem we might be having right now is that it is absolutely pitch black. We have roughly three ships heading at a course like that. So let's go ahead and close the distance, shall we? Alright, this is quite a few cargo ships coming our way. Let's go ahead and switch back over to attack periscope, please. And let's get ready for this. I doubt we're going to be able to see anything at all. It is amazing how dark it is. I mean, this is this is what we're dealing with right now. Trying to find this tiny ship in front of us. And here we go. We have our first target locked on. My goodness. This is going to be fun. So we are roughly 2.2 kilometers away. And a course of 99 degrees. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to have to go, since we can't actually see what it is, we're going to go off a lot of guessing here. Is that the smartest way to do it? No. However, what we have to do. All right, we have everything entered. 2,200 kilometers. We're going to go ahead and load one. No, let's load two. Do a dispersion rate of only five meters. Get these close and fire. All right, so those two are away. Go ahead and unlock from there and try and find the next nearest one. All right, we have the next nearest one right here. Let's go ahead and 700 meters, roughly. Force, we're looking at 63 degrees. Go ahead and load one tube. Let's hope. Here we go. Fire. Yes. Torpedo away. Torpedo away. 700 meters. Or well, I put it at 750 meters. So far, these aren't looking too bad, though. They might actually... We might get some targets sunk pretty early here in this mission, which would be golden. Oh, God. Moment of truth. Come on. Show me love. Torpedo was a dud. No way. I was on the... Close one. The other one should be pretty close by here. Treffer. The hit. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Serious damage. Where's the hit? Alright, well I can't actually see the hit. But it looks like it's actually... It has sunk. Perfect. It went down pretty fast. Let's go ahead and surface the boat, please. We'll keep this one targeted. Incoming from the Eric boy. Ah, uh, that's going to be them saying that they're under attack. Go ahead and surface the boat, please. And forward three. And let's man the deck gun if we can. And we'll give you some help right now, sir. We are literally right next to this Eric Boy cargo ship, and this is the view. This is the view we have. This is absolutely atrocious. Okay, we're not gonna sit here and waste ammunition on this. We're gonna go ahead and pull ahead, get out of harm's way, and we are gonna wait for it to lighten up or something. That is utterly atrocious how dark it is. Upside of things, we did manage to sink one of the ships which we needed to, which we will happily take that. That is awesome. We'll go ahead and go back to the Celtic Sea. As we have to continue our uh, travel inside of that. And we will get the next uh, shipping that comes through. I can't believe how dark it was. I mean, I could, you couldn't see the front of the ship through the captain's scope, for God's sakes. Alright, we're back in the area where we need to be. Let's go ahead and drop periscope, please. Or excuse me, not drop periscope. Get the hydrophone up. And see if there's anything in the immediate area. Incoming from the U320. Alright. Go ahead and get you over to the listening room, please, and see what we're dealing with. Freighter in Naval Square, BF127. Eastern course, fast speed, can't intercept. Alright, well, where's it at? 
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Jawohl. Well, I think we can probably intercept. Let's go ahead and surface the boat if we can. And we'll get up close here. Zu Befehl. And here we go, my goodness, I don't know which one of these it was that the U320 was trying to actually catch, but, boy, we have a lot to choose from, but obviously I think we're going to go after this small group here of 5 to 12. Let's go ahead and see what kind of course it is taking, and we can bypass everything else. Oh, hello. We will not be bypassing that and going after that, because that is a group of destroyers, no doubt. Go ahead and... Set up an attack for this one cargo ship that we saw right here. Yes. Oh, that's a nasty group. Stay away from that at all costs. All right, we are set up. Let's go ahead and it's actually, we can see. We can bloody see. What a difference it makes. Hello. Little Empire Bell action here. The uh, Norway vessel though, huh? Good hits. Good bloody hits, everybody. Right at the waterline is exactly where we want it to. All right, hot pursuit, and let's see if this thing is going down. Shows that HP is, in fact, going down. That's good. Oh, yeah, it didn't stand a chance at all. And there it is. Going under. Lifeboats have been released. You will not be taking supplies to England. Fire on board. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. And there goes the HP. It is going under. Huzzah! Well, no doubt we need to actually get out of here now. With haste and go and try and find the next bit of funnel smoke. There it is, too. Let's drop down periscope depth. Hopefully that group of destroyers isn't coming anywhere near. Ah, but there is an aircraft ready to rock and roll. Yes, buddy, you didn't see anything. Just keep flying. And here is our next target. Let's go ahead. I hate how it always starts up way like that. Let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with on this one. Oh, yes. Looks like an Empire Bell if I've ever seen one, with a velocity no doubt of seven knots. Go ahead and a little bit of time compression here. Get that right in front of us. Perfect. Rough course. 88 degrees for the course, I believe it. And a distance. 1.3 as it stands, so... 1300 meters, please. Go ahead and load tube one. And let's get ready to fire this bad boy. Ready to rack and fire. Dos! Torpedo away. Now we wait for death and destruction. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And that should be serious damage on its part. It's taking on a lot of water very fast. No doubt people are jumping ship. Wow, I am shocked. It only lost not even a quarter of its health. All right, well, you know what this calls for. Go ahead and surface the ship, please. Forward two. Oh, it appears as though now it's finally decided to go down. Good. Yes, there we go. Nice. First objective completed, sink the 10,000 gross registered tonnage. That is done, and hello. Oh my goodness. 
Because we have another one just off we do. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day this is. There is no point in trying to get a torpedo off on that thing if it's already doing evasive maneuver, so we're just gonna go ahead and get nice and close and deal some damage. Right for the water line, come on. And it's turning against us, which is perfect. More of the water line, let's go. Nice. That should be perfect right there. How are we looking? It is not looking good at all. Fire on board, that should. Pretty much seal the deal right there. Let's go ahead and get one right in the mid section here. Perfect. Disgusting. Well, that's pretty close, isn't it? Take that. And there it goes. HP completely depleted. Ship sinking. Great bloody work. Oh my goodness. Like hunting season out here. Or as the Kriegsmarine called it, the happy times. I can see why. My goodness, the targets are plentiful. Oh, Jesus. And now we have an aircraft started our way. Come on, guys. You guys need to quickly change and get that AA gun up. Let's go, 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 go. Where is that aircraft? There it is. Holy moly. Oh my goodness, overshot us terribly. Is that a Bofors? We did a pretty good job riddling that. Uh, oh my goodness, what is that ahead? Is that the... Pretty sure that's the destroyer. Let's go ahead and change our course and go the other way, shall we? And we have another aircraft coming in. Okay, we need to get out of here. First aircraft has gone down. Here comes the second one. Where is it? There it is, right there. Come on, buddy. Come for that dive. You know you want to. Here we come. Second plane. Ready to rock and roll. Stand by and fire. Nice. I'd say we riddled that pretty well as Is it going down? Maybe. Alright, we weren't able to take that one down. It did fly off, however. We are out of the trouble as it stands right now. My goodness. Look over the horizon. We've got contrails going. It's getting pretty uh, pretty dicey over here in the Celtic Sea. Let me tell you. They actually mean business. I am shocked. Wow. Alrighty. Well, as it stands right now, we have done a significant job at knocking out the gross register tonnage that is needed for the first portion of the happy times. We are at 15889 of 50,000 and we still have plenty of torpedoes left to uh, try and get these guys out. We have eight torpedoes left which is more than enough to get to that tonnage that we need and we're in the Celtic Sea so I'm sure we're going to be coming across some oilers now. We need to stop focusing on the Empire Bells as they're only small cargo ships and maybe start hunting out the larger cargo ships like the Oilers and the Tankers. If we can come across them, that's going to really boost up our numbers, which will be super beneficial for us. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this episode as I am excited to start this new journey of the Happy Times in the Celtic Sea, get through Tiers 1, 2, and 3 and complete that objective and help the eventual campaign of Britain 
and uh, we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Likewise, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as it helps me out, helps the channel out, and helps get this video out so many more can see it. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Try and get more videos on this out every week, as well as other World War II games and a variety of other games. In the meantime, I'm going to get back at it, start making that next video. And until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?